Hey guys, John Riley. Welcome back to another episode of Bushcraft Bombs. I um, just want to talk a little bit about uh, learning to read some signs of, of local fauna, animals in your area, and uh, learning to know what's around you and what effects that that can have. All right. So we're not doing anything too outrageous today. I'm not going to show you panther tracks or, or you know jaguar lair or anything like that. You know, we're in New York and I'm not too far out of the city, so we're keeping things kind of basic here, but it's, these are still good things to know. Part of bushcraft is learning to be more in tune with your environment and recognize things um, around you and, uh, and to know what's cooking uh, behind the scenes. So let's take a look at what I found here. This uh, is a chipmunk cache, and what this is is a chipmunk comes here and stores all their nuts, and then they come here to eat them because they know it's kind of safe here and, and, uh, and private. All right, and the way we can identify this as a chipmunk cache, as opposed to some other animal, is the way the nuts are, are eaten. If you can see, the nut is not split. The acorn's not split like a squirrel would normally do, but instead, the top has been rimmed out, and then the nut meat inside has been, has been removed. All right? And there are literally a thousand, probably more than that, acorns in here. Just tons of acorns. So this has been one busy chipmunk. And I found about six or eight of these probably sprawled out over over you know, 100, 200 yards, which tells me that this is very active chipmunk territory, all right? So now if we look, take a little walk over here, enjoy the scenery, and bear with me for a second, we're going to walk over to this log over here, and we're going to see a more typical squirrel behavior, the gray squirrel. This is open hardwood, and red squirrels usually don't like that. They usually prefer coniferous uh, forests. But if we look over here, this is... Um, suggests more to me of a uh, gray squirrel behavior, and what we have here is split. The nuts have been split and the meats inside have been taken, or split or just broken open completely and left here. So usually a squirrel will find a place to perch, you know, up on a log stump an ideal spot for a squirrel, and it'll look around so we can keep an eye out for predators, keep an eye out for danger, and uh, munch on some nuts. And if we roll up the log here, we have more, just the nuts have been completely split here. Um, and the nut, the nut meets devours. That's, uh, you know, behavior more typical of a gray squirrel. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Who cares? Gray squirrel, chipmunk, who cares that they're around? They're everywhere. And that's very much true. However, you know, in addition to just knowing uh, to read the signs of animals in your environment, you know, you have to think about the ramifications of what that can mean to you. So, um, what we have here is a, uh, where is it? It's actually right over this bend here. It's a campsite. We have a campsite right here, okay? That squirrel uh, tree is maybe about 40 feet behind me. And our little chipmunk den is right over there, maybe about 20 feet away. All right, so what that tells me is why this is, looks like a nice spot to camp, is that, um, you know, you got to tie your food up. If you have any, uh, plan on leaving any food out, any, uh, you know, any uh, trail mix or, or dried foods, you got to tie that up be, and tie it up high in a tree because it's going to be susceptible, I know from experience, to a, to a chipmunk invasion. Also, it's good to know these animals are around here because if you were in a survival situation, it's good to recognize the signs because both of those, squirrels and chipmunks, are viable contendants for the stew pot. All right, so now we know there are a lot of chipmunks here, and we know and squirrels too. We know they both eat acorns. They're both susceptible um, to a you know, any type of uh, deadfall traps or uh, squirrels as they're perching are definitely susceptible to, you know, uh, hunting implements as well. Um, you know, you'd need quite a few chipmunks, I think, to uh, get a suitable meal, but they're out there. You know, in, in desperate times, you know, I wouldn't recommend it, but uh, in desperate times, anything goes. And also, another thing to remember is that in this particular area, um, there are, there are uh, venomous snakes that feed on rodents. There are rattlesnakes here and copperheads. And, uh, you know, a squirrel might be kind of big, but there are tons of chipmunks here, as I've seen the sign, and I've seen hundreds of them just walking around today. They're here, and uh, if they're here, or maybe not this time of year, but in the summer, the warmer ones, if I were here, that the number of chipmunks is going to mean to me that there's probably going to be rattlesnakes uh, lurking around, and I, I need to be aware of that. You know, um, here in New York State, it's kind of controversial, because there are uh, rattlesnakes where I am right now, uh, I even though they're, they're rare to see. But, um, you know, folks say, why don't we just get rid of them? But what a lot of people don't know, too, is that uh, rattlesnakes help keep the Lyme disease 
uh, in check around here because the deer tick, which spreads the Lyme disease, needs small rodents, uh, chipmunks, uh, white-footed deer mouse, and stuff like that. In, in, its, in its infancy, it needs those small rodents to feed on them before it graduates up to heavier animals. So the more that these uh, predators can keep these populations in check, the, uh, the better off uh, we are, uh, the less chance of us uh, contracting Lyme disease while we're out here. So just a couple of ways to recognize signs uh, of animals in your immediate area. That's just part of bushcraft, learning to read the environment and to be part of it and to know what's around you from even the smallest thing, like a chipmunk, and how it can impact you and how, in turn, you can impact them. All right, I'm John Riley. This is Bushcraft Bumps. Thanks for watching.